So we're here at the Super Computing Show here in Denver, and uh, you have a whole bunch of new announcements, right? Yes. So uh, now Thunder X2 is about to be shipping? Yep. So let's see some of the systems that you're showing, showing off. Yeah, so let's start from here. This is the platform that HPE, Hewlett Packard Enterprises, uh, Enterprises announced at the show, uh, actually uh, yesterday. And uh, this is part of their Apollo family. Apollo is their high-performance computing uh, platforms. And uh, this is called Apollo 70. It's a 2U four-node high-density platform. This is one of their uh, volume products. And this has two Thunder X2 processors with uh, uh, eight memory channels per socket, delivering about 33% higher memory bandwidth and 33% higher memory capacity compared to the competing solutions. And you can actually fit four of them here, and this delivers very high core count and very high memory density to the end user. The high performance computing applications that actually uh, benefit uh, from high memory bandwidth and higher core count uh, you know, are uh, going to be able to really see the performance differences. There were a number of performance benchmarks announced by our customers, HP, as well as uh, uh, Cray, and uh, some of the national labs at this conference, and it's actually really exciting. So uh, the benchmarks, that's the big deal to announce this, right? Yes. And 33% better than Intel? Uh, Intel, yeah. On but the memory. What Intel? The, the best Intel for yes, that the market? Best Intel, or yes. the top in for the top, gold? top end Intel. Was it called yeah, gold? The, the, the platinum. It's platinum. the, it's the, you know, they have uh, six memory channels. We have eight, and that gives us higher memory bandwidth. So you have higher memory bandwidth is one of the most important things yes, to have high memory high performance. How, how high, how many gigabytes you do memory bandwidth? So the measured performance that we are showing shows about 132 gigabytes per second in memory bandwidth. And uh, this is a number that our customers are sharing with their uh, uh, end users. And that's about 33% higher than the high-end Skylake platforms. So having a higher memory bandwidth helps with also being 33% uh, it helps more with, efficient? It or? helps with a number of applications in the high-performance computing space because they need higher memory bandwidth and we, we are showing performance benchmarks uh, for those. Uh, so, uh, and the HPC, this is a supercomputing conference, yes. but uh, the stuff you do is not only for supercomputing, but, but when you announce stuff here, it means uh, everything is available for the whole market. Yeah, of course. So we play in the cloud and HPC space. So the platforms that we are showing are, of course, you know, for the high performance computing market, but then HPE also sells similar platforms for the cloud. And there's, for example, right here, Google Cloud, Amazon yep. Cloud, all these customers should potentially... Can use these kinds of platforms. They can buy this now. Of course. They, and uh, let's, let's look at the other one over there. Yep. It's a big one. So this is, this is the platform from Cray. Cray is a very famous supercomputing super company. Right? company. So they invented supercomputing. They invented supercomputing. So Cray has a very high-end uh, platform called XC50. This is their flagship product. And this is a blade that goes into XC50 platform. It has eight Thunder X2 processors. Okay, eight Thunder X2 processors, as you can see here, and it ties into their fabric through Ares, which is Cray's fabric, which provides very high bandwidth and very low latency for the supercomputing applications. And uh, this was launched along with a number of Cray customers quoting, uh, 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 you know, about how great this platform was. So you have eight chips, eight processors. They work perfectly together. Yes. Eight. Yes. How, how do you do it? How so do you design they, a chip that can work they together? Actually, like Cray has a fabric, okay, that interconnects these processors. We have dual socket processors, so they use four of those dual socket processor blocks in here to deliver the net performance. And uh, lots of RAM. Lots of memory. Yes. And uh, and this is their network. This is their network. So this connects to. This connects those processor complexes, also ties them into their cluster. Okay, so when Cray ships a product, they actually ship an entire, uh, uh, what they call a cabinet. And the cabinet consists of lots of these processors, uh, processor cards. So, uh, potentially, maybe, this one could be number one in the world supercomputer in this next is, year? This is gonna, well, this is something which is like a top 500 uh, class supercomputer, right? So Cray has a number one position in terms of the total number of systems in the top 500 at the top 100 or top 10 
and you know with the ad, with the introduction of something like XC50 this really helps uh, us to play in that space uh, so potentially uh, is it going to be arm your solution in ARM that could be in the top, like beat the Chinese? That, in the well, way that they do? That I don't know. Wants to do it, of course, could. of course. That I don't know whether it can beat the uh, top, you know, top 10. It's a, it's a question of, you know, customers now have an option to deploy ARM supercomputer, which they didn't have before. So this is a volume HPC play. Volume. Volume, okay. So this goes to, you know, high density, high performance, uh, a platform. This one is the real, uh, you know, uh, uh, scientific, super scientific uh, academics, labs, space. national labs. Yeah, NASA. Yeah, Maybe. those guys. Uh, yeah. and, uh, uh, there was something awesome also at the HPE. They were showing the machine. Yes. And are, are you excited by this? Yes. That? Yes. So machine, the only processor that actually supports the Gen Z today with the machine is a Cavium Thunder X2 CPU. So the beauty of that is Thunder X2 has a coherent interconnect and they have a chip that connects Thunder X2 into Gen Z fabric, okay? And that is great because now the memory actually can be remote and multiple Thunder X2 blades can actually uh, share the memory across them. So this is what HP calls memory-centric computing and this is one of the largest R&D projects in HPE's history. This was launched in May of uh, this year and we're very excited to be a part of that. So you part of the Gen Z uh, yes. consortium. Yes. But uh, maybe uh, you could do... Uh, one thing I wonder is, because you have so many things in the SOC, but some, you have networking too, right? Well, you have we some have, kind of network in there, but you can also have it externally. Of course. So, so this, so our networking is industry standard networking, right? Uh, so you know, for high performance computing, they want ultra low latency interconnects, and the Cray fabric actually enables ultra low latency interconnects into their cabin. So it's great because it gives customers in the high performance computing space. Uh, choice in terms of you know having a very high performance interconnect which allows them to have higher scalable performance for their applications. Nice. And, uh, uh, the, over there is this the gigabyte? So this is the gigabyte channel product. Uh, this uh, They announced this at uh, Computex and now they are actually launching this into production. This okay. uses the BGA version of Thunder X to Silicon. What These are all LGA so they have socket socket so socket. you can actually just like x86 you can replace the cpu right yeah so when you go to a bga version if you are a cloud customer yeah. and you really know exactly what you want you can actually have a lower cost platform with bga okay there's no uh, it's not a socket you don't it's need to take it in and out you don't have to because you know now that way you can save the cost on the motherboard you can save the cost of the socket so if you know exactly what you want yeah. you can actually uh, you know, just socket the part, and that actually saves you money. And Gigabyte did an interesting thing over here, right? Uh, the, you can add a whole bunch of yeah. Uh, so they have a GPU they have a here. riser card, so they take advantage of all oh. the PCIe lanes we have in the chip, so they can actually support lots of different kinds of PCIe cards, including full height adapters. Yeah. And this platform can be used for storage because it has lots of drives. And, uh, but we hear the supercomputing, this is not necessarily a supercomputing product, right? Oh, it could be. It can be. Okay, so this is more like a traditional 2U2 socket server, which is, which could be cloud. It's like the workhorse of computing, right? One of the most popular form factors in the server market is a two socket server. Supercomputing has more high density platforms, which are targeted to more compute, but this one gives you storage and compute. So this one compared to an Intel solution is like, 2x better or how do you compare so uh, it depends on the application and uh, you know what we are showing is i think we talked about memory bandwidth we are showing integer performance we're showing floating point performance we are showing some of the uh, hpc application performance okay and you know we are actually very very competitive uh, uh, relative to the uh, latest intel processors nice and uh, there's even some some other announcements that uh, happen here to show it's so, been a very very busy show right yes it is so we have this platform uh, this is from foxconn uh, ingresses uh, and yes. it's, it's the same kind of to you four-node system, and this these are more cloud-oriented platforms. 
uh, you know, some of the cloud guys buy directly from the ODMs. They don't go through OEMs, so they have platforms that they can get. Uh, these are all tier one OEM, ODM partners. So we have announcement from them. We also have announcement from our partners. For example, MicroSemi announced support of their uh, adapter, RAID adapter, uh, which goes into this platform for storage. So we have had a number of announcements from our partner. The other exciting thing is that Red Hat actually announced production support for the HP platform over there. Right? This is the first time Red Hat is actually announcing uh, production RHEL support for ARM. And that's a big deal? It's a very big deal because a lot of the enterprise customers and a lot of the HPC customers actually use standard Red Hat. And it gives customers a choice in terms of, you know, running exactly the same set of applications that they used to run. The other exciting thing is that Bull, uh, who is a, a European company, won uh, an award for the best collaboration uh, with their Mont Blanc project for their Sequena blade, which is based on Thunder X2 ARM CPU. So they won a HPC, uh, HPC Insider Award. We're very excited about that. They have a liquid-cooled system, and they're going to talk more about it at the Birds of Feather session tomorrow. It sounds like crazy, crazy uh, busy right now. At, yes, it at is. KVM. Yes, it is. It's because exciting. This is a, the way Thunder X was, one was right. great. But it was like a stepping stone for what's right, happening now, right? Right, right. exactly. Now it so, gets really busy. Exactly. exactly. Now you see all the OEM platforms, you see broad ecosystem. We are showing performance, which used to be, you know. So, and not just us, our customers are showing performance on this platform. And if you notice, at this show, it's our customers who are actually talking about their products. It's not Caviam talking about our product. And that's how we want it to be. And beautiful companies like Cray, yes. showing this amazing stuff. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And uh, HPE getting very excited with the, exactly. the machine. Exactly. The machine could change a lot in the future, exactly. right? Exactly. Yes. It, could, it could change like uh, uh, the whole architecture of exactly. supercomputing, exactly. right? It's, well, it's not just supercomputing. It's also enterprise computing, right? Because, you know, by having memory that is shared across multiple compute nodes, you actually have a much better utilization of memory. And you can actually, with storage class memory, now you can share that. That changes the computing paradigm, and we're very excited about our partners. There. And uh, there was the Foxconn Ingresses stuff yep. too? Yep, yep. So that's this that's platform. That's this one right there? Yep. Uh, so all the big guys are part of this. Yes, of Everybody's course. excited. Exactly. And hopefully uh, some of these companies right there are going to actually announce that they deploy data centers with this. It's well, ready. It's ready, right? Yes. Our goal is to actually make the platforms ready, have the ecosystem there, have the performance there, so that you know it makes it it so removes all the barriers to adoption of this architecture in the data center and for hyper